Hey, welcome back. It must be Tuesday. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying these. Uh, we're having a lot of fun making them, actually. And uh, by the way, if you have any questions, uh, send them to Tuesday at BransonAuction.com. So this must be Tuesday. And look at this black beast sitting next to me. That is a real, honest to goodness, 1964 Pontiac GTO. Some say that's the very first muscle car, and it's not too difficult to believe that. Uh, GTO, Gran Turismo, what's the O? Omologato. Omologato, what does that mean? That means approved. Approved means it can be this, Gran Turismo. Omologato was used in Europe to say this car has been approved for racing. So Gran Turismo Omologato was usually referred to something like a Ferrari. And there is a Ferrari GTO. It costs considerably more than this, somewhere around 25 to $35 million. Anyway, this is a delightful car. It was in 64, it had 16, I think, options. And all of those options had to be attached to the Tempest Le Mans, the Pontiac Tempest Le Mans GTO. Uh, I know that from personal experience because I bought one and was sharing it with a girl, fiance. Anyway, I ended up at war and it, it ended up in a ditch, so let's go on with it. Uh, the options in this car are, are just exactly what you would want to have back in 1964. It was a 389, 348 horsepower. The, the standard was 325, but you could get the 348. The 348 has the three deuces, the three two-barrel carburetors. Uh, 420 some foot pounds of torque. There were three trannies available. There was a three-speed, a four-speed, and a four-speed automatic. Uh, this has a four-speed automatic. Um, it, you know, with, with 16 options plus being black on black, it, that's pretty hard to beat. Back in the day, it may not sound like much today if you're driving a new AMG Mercedes, but back in the day, zero to 60 in 5.7 seconds? Good grief. They didn't, they, they, they made quite a few of them, and, and how many they made is part of the story of the GTO in, in 1964. They, they made over 7,000 coupes, okay, and they made 18,000 hardtops. By the way, you can tell this is a hardtop because there's a post in the middle, the B pillar, that's a post. They also made uh, about 6,000 convertibles. So uh, what happened was GM had put out an edict that uh, none of their divisions, remember what they are, Chevrolet, Oldsmobile, Pontiac, and Buick, nobody, or Cadillac, nobody's gonna go racing anymore. We don't do that anymore. And you're not gonna be allowed to have this engine and you can't make this performance stuff and all of that's history. 1964, right. Well, Bunky Knudsen uh, had, became the chief. He brought in Pete Estes. Pete Estes started working with a fellow named, are you ready, John Z. DeLorean. Yeah, that John Z. DeLorean. And anyway, they were, they were given an edict and they were given warnings and all kinds of things. Okay, we're gonna let you make 10,000 units that you're gonna do with this 389 or whatever it is that you guys are working with, but, but that's it, 10,000 units, and that's all we're gonna make. All right, so they made the 10,000 units. They were sold in the first 90 days. The factory, the board of directors, I said, well, okay, go ahead and make some more. So it ended up being 32,400 and some cars they actually ended up making. So much for the edict from on high. They know what a profit is when they see it. So what we've got here is one of the most desirable Pontiac GTOs that you could ever ask for. 348 tri-power, automatic, triple black. Wow, what a car. And uh, if you don't believe me, ask the Beach Boys. 